This is day 12 of the battle between Iraqi forces and Sunni gunmen at war on Haifa Street in the center of Baghdad. It's only a mile and a half away from the heavily fortified Green Zone, yet no one, neither Iraqi nor U.S. forces, has been able to stop it. Shame on this government that they can't make one street safe, said this man, who didn't want his face shown. He's one of several security guards at this government building on Haifa Street who are trying to help the Iraqi army. This mostly Shiite army has already paid a heavy price in the fight, as these gruesome pictures obtained by CBS News show. A group of Iraqi soldiers appear to have been shot multiple times, some at close range to the head. But the Iraqi army, in turn, is accused by residents on Haifa Street of carrying out atrocities. Other video obtained by CBS News shows the bodies of Sunni residents with obvious signs of torture. Dr. Koresh al Qasir, a resident who was rescued from his home on Haifa Street by U.S. troops last Saturday, told CBS News that he and his sons had witnessed uniformed Iraqi soldiers executing a group of unarmed men and shooting two women. Then I started to look again from the window. Oh, this is the blood. Blood coming from the head. My son, youngest son, came. He started to become yellow. Say, okay, Taif, go, go, go and sleep. Another Haifa Street resident, who wouldn't be identified for fear he'd be killed, blamed the fighting on the U.S. They told us they would bring democracy. They promised life would be better than it was under Saddam, he said. But they brought us nothing but death and killing. They brought mass destruction to Baghdad. Lara Logan, CBS News, Baghdad.